Hey, what's up, everybody? I just want to jump on here today. There's a couple of agents that uh, that may need this message, and you know, I know that you guys are always looking at the leaderboard, and you're wondering if you have what it takes to get to the top of the leaderboard. Okay, some leaderboards have the top ten, some have the top hundred. You know, some companies have leaderboards with uh, actual, you know, call centers on it, which they should be separate. I mean, you shouldn't have agents that are independent agents looking at leaderboards with, you know, you're competing with people who have downlines and stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense. So I want to get on here and maybe be a spark of inf inspiration for some agents. Um, and I want you guys to understand you know the leaderboards aren't always a clear and accurate depiction of profitability in one's company so let me explain that to you I've coached many agents in the industry with this the small amount of time I've been in the insurance agency with full transparency okay I've been doing sales my whole life right I the sales kind of person that I am is I go in and I figure out a need you know, if they need the product, I position myself as a solution. I make the sale and I keep it moving. OK, now this is one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I first started selling insurance was I was laying all of these people down. I was making the sale, keeping it moving, making a sale, keeping it moving. And my goal, too, was to be on the top of the leaderboard. I made it to the leaderboard. OK, top five sometimes top 10 sometimes right even top 20 you know which is still a great feat it's awesome to look at but ultimately the only thing you should be competing against is one's self you do not need to compete with all the other people because a leaderboard doesn't paint the clearest picture for you I don't want to be the agent that writes a hundred thousand dollars a month but spends you know, $80,000, $90,000 in marketing cost, only profiting 10,000, not accounting for chargebacks, etc., etc. Now, when you do this, you're becoming a basically a, a shop, right? Like a retail store location who eats costs and it's just a machine. And you're plugging yourself into that machine in order for it to work. So the things that we need to start thinking about is A, Stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Don't worry about what the other person is doing. You should only be competing with yourself. Have you if you're not the kind of person that, you know, is is disciplined enough to sit down and make a dial, how many dials did you make last week? If it was one, so be it. If it was zero, so be it. Today is a new day. You start today with what you have. Do the best with what you have and make one dial. If you make one dial today, hey, you're a hundred percent better than you were last week because you didn't make any dials last week. You only compete against yourself. No one else matters. Okay, these leaderboards, they don't matter. Screw them. Stop looking at them. Okay, we're not in competition with anyone else. All right, look, the person that makes a hundred thousand spending ninety to get, you know, marketing and, and banking ten can't beat the person who's making forty thousand, right, with maybe five thousand dollars in overhead and just crushing it with referrals okay you're crushing it with referrals you're you're squeezing all you can you're getting the most bang out of your buck when you look deeper into the metrics right think about it like this too some agents only buy right some agents will buy 100 leads and only dial them you know three times let's say that agent makes you know they they close I don't know, 5% of the leads, right? So five, just raw numbers here. So they close five leads and they send the rest to a withdrawn nurture status or they just withdraw the lead from the, the system. Then you have an agent who's not, you know, who doesn't have the money to just keep spending, keep spending and buying more leads and more leads. So they're working their queue and they're getting the most out of their leads by asking for referrals. OK, and if you're not to the point to where you're asking for referrals, just get better with that. Just figure out a different system so that you can maximize your efficiency and your business's expenses. And uh, yeah, that's it.